Hi guys, it's getting ready to storm and I'm getting a bad headache. Um, I took my migraine pill and another pain pill and I'm going to take my muscle relaxer and then I think I'm going to go to bed after this. But the lights are flickering again and mom just called and said that her lights are flickering down there so the storm's on its way it sounds like so let's begin today's um, Bible reading John 6 43 through 71 Jesus told them stop grumbling no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me makes them want to come. But if they do come, I will raise them to life on the last day. One of the prophets wrote, God will teach all of them, and so everyone will listen to the Father and learns from him will come to me. The only one who has seen the Father is the one who has come from me. No one else has ever seen the Father. I tell you for certain that everyone who has faith in me has eternal life. I am the bread that gives life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert and later they died. But the bread from heaven has come down so that no one who eats it will ever die. I am the bread from heaven. Everyone who eats it will live forever. My flesh is the life-giving bread that I give to the people of this world. They started arguing with each other and asked, how can he give us his flesh to eat? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you won't live unless you eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man. But if you do eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have eternal life, and I will raise you to life on the last day. My flesh is the true food, and my blood is the true drink. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you are one with me and I am one with you. The living Father sent me, and I have life because of him. Now everyone who eats my flesh will live because of me. The bread that comes down from heaven isn't like what your ancestors ate. They died, but whoever eats this bread will live forever. Jesus was teaching in a Jewish, Jewish place of worship in Capernaum when he said these things. Many of Jesus' disciples heard him and said, This is too hard for anyone to understand. Jesus knew that his disciples were grumbling, so he asked, Does this bother you? What if you should see the Son of Man go up to heaven where he came from? The Spirit is the one who gives life. Human strength can do nothing. The words that I have spoken to you are from the life-giving Spirit, but some of you refuse to have faith in me. Jesus said this, because from the beginning he knew who would have faith in him. He also knew which one would betray him. Then Jesus said, you cannot come to me unless the Father makes you want to come. That is why I have told these things to all of you. Because of what Jesus said, many of his disciples turned their backs on him and stopped following him. Jesus then asked his twelve disciples, if they were going to leave him, Simon Peter answered, Lord, there is no one else that we can go to. Your words give eternal life. We have faith in you, and we are sure that you are God's Holy One. Jesus told his disciples, I choose all twelve of you, but one of you is a demon. Jesus was talking about Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. He would later betray Jesus, even though he was one of the twelve disciples. And that was John 6, 43 through 71. Now we're going to read Psalm 107 through 150. Shout praises to the Lord. He is good to us, and his love never fails. Everyone the Lord has rescued from trouble should praise Him. Everyone He has brought from the east and the west, the north and the south. Some of you were lost in the scorching desert, far from a town. 
You were hungry and thirsty and about to give up. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord, and He rescued you. Right away, He brought you to a town. You should praise the Lord for His love and for the wonderful things He does for all of us. To everyone who is thirsty, He gives something to drink. To everyone who is hungry, He gives good things to eat. Some of you are prisoners suffering in deepest darkness and bound by chains because you have rebelled against God Most High and refused His advice. You were worn out and working like slaves, and no one came to help. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord, and He rescued you. He brought you out of the deepest darkness and broke your chains. You should praise the Lord for His love and for the wonderful things He does for all of us. He breaks down bronze gates and shatters iron locks. Some of you had foolishly committed a lot of sins and were in terrible pain. The very thought of food was disgusting to you, and you were almost dead. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord, and He rescued you. By the power of His own word, He healed you and saved you from destruction. You should praise the Lord for His love and for the wonderful things He does for all of us. You should celebrate by offering sacrifices and singing joyful songs to tell what He has done. Some of you made a living by selling the mighty sea, and you saw the miracles the Lord performed there. At His command, a storm arose and waves covered the sea. You were tossed to the sky, to the ocean depths, until things looked so bad that you lost your courage. You staggered like drunkards and gave up all hope. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord, and He rescued you. He made the storm stop, and the sea be quiet. You were happy because of this, and He brought you to the port where you wanted to go. You should praise the Lord for His love, and for the wonderful things He does for all of us. Honor the Lord when you and your leaders meet to worship. If you start doing wrong, the Lord will turn rivers into deserts flowing streams into scorched land and fruitful fields into beds of salt. But the Lord can always turn deserts into lakes and scorched land into flowing streams. If you are hungry, you can settle there and build a town. You can plant fields and vineyards that produce a good harvest. The Lord will bless you with many children and with herbs of cattle. Sometimes you may be crushed by troubles and sorrows until only a few of you are left to survive. But the Lord will take refuge on those who conquer you and will make them wander across deserts and sands. Where you are suffering and in need, He will come to your rescue and your families will grow as fast as the herd of sheep. You will see this because you obey the Lord, but everyone who is wicked will be silenced. Be wise, remember this, and think about the kindness of the Lord. And that was Psalm 107. Last for tonight is Proverbs 15, 1 through 3. A kind answer soothes angry feelings, but harsh words stir them up. Words of wisdom come from the wise, but fools speak foolishness. The Lord sees everything, whether good or bad. Amen to that. And that was Proverbs 15, 1 through 3. Okay, guys, that was to today's Bible reading. Sorry it was so late, but I actually took a nap and I just got up a little bit ago because I had a headache and I was tired. Uh, I woke up and my head still hurts, so I'm getting ready to go back to bed right now. So I hope you guys all sleep well and... Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and our TV just went off. I think the electric's about to go off. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I turned it off.